Alright guys, so as you guys can see, it is pretty dark. So I'm gonna head over to the light. Got a package in the mail. I am stoked guys. Let's do some tackle unboxing man. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so <sighs> it has been a long one. It's been a I've been I had a blast with the family family today. You guys hear that? Got some goodies in here. Um, in this box is one bait that I have been looking for like forever, and I finally found it, the decent price, and I put a trigger along with some some other stuff over there. So before we hop into the box. Let me show you guys my custom dark sleepers, guys. So I've been working on these guys for the past past month, more like two weeks. And uh, as you guys know, dark sleeper has been a very, very popular bait recently. So I went ahead and painted some custom dark sleeper fire crawl. Really stoked for this thing. I'm gonna definitely be chucking this thing out once the uh, once the lakes open up. It's finally spring, guys. Like here, in my area, we're finally getting above 40 degrees weather, and it's staying that way. And what I really need is for a lot of rain to come down to open up and speed the process of the lakes to you know open up. Got it in the wild gill i got a i got a couple couple different colors um I should, i'll go ahead and show you guys all of it uh this one is in the blue back i think was as well as called blue back custom completely custom dog sleeper and then this one is in oh no not this one this is the same one the blue back this one is in a perch color go ahead and speed this up because i really want to get into this box i got some custom dark sleeper and then these ones are not finished yet but i just want to show you guys what i have also been doing so you guys know comment down below if you guys know what this color is check that out it's gonna be a good bait for my for the northern lakes so yeah guys that's a, a couple dark sleeper I want to give you guys a quick glimpse at um, I could do a lot more than the colors that shown it's just I gotta work my imagination a little bit more and see what I could produce. So, <sighs> should we get into this yet? Not quite yet, guys. So, I went to my local fish store, bait shop, and I picked up a few baits. Um, so, let me go ahead and show you guys a couple while it's still outside the box. Okay, just one more bait. One more bait I'm looking for. All right, so let's start off with, not this one, this one. So I picked up a couple, they're not like JDM, but they are like Japanese brand tackle. These things are relatively available in the United States. So, the first one is the Gabacho, Gabacho Frog by Jackal. This frog is definitely a frog. Turn this a little way a little bit. It's a little too bright. This frog here is a lot tougher. Strict, mainly because of the, the hard angle that it has on here. But a really good frog for your heavy, heavy, heavy covered um, situations. Good frogs. Nice popping. Good color. 
Um, I did get them in two colors. I got it in white and I got it in in black. So two basic colors as a JDM tackle, JDM bait. Wow. Again, they're not totally JDM. They are a Japanese brand, but they are relatively available in the States. So these guys are back in the package because they are going to be on the wall for the next like three months because the lakes are not open yet and in my area we can't even fish until second week of may so like may 14th so it's kind of it sucks but the next one is the mega bass gabbit got a lag a lot of mega bass i'm gonna show you guys today this is the gabbit it is a definitely a big frog so this is a 110 that I'll show you guys in a bit it is almost the same size so it's a it's a bigger frog and that's exactly what I was looking for bigger profile frog just a bigger fish so cool color this one is in uh, wild gill same color as my dark sneaker and then I got it also and I like to buy things in two so I got it in, I think this one is called Aka, Aka Gami, Akazimi is a straight up red frog. Now there's not a lot of red frogs in my area, but I bought this to do like bed fishing and like super shallow fishing. Um, because of the redness of this thing, it just totally pops, especially like First thing in the morning, bass is looking up, sun just started to come out, and something is solid red up there. It's gonna catch the eyes. So I got it in the red, red frog. This is the first ever red frog that I ever bought. So really cool bait, really, really awesome. Really, really awesome bait. Got the little cup in the front, spit some water. These guys for sure will be fish. And uh I'm pretty confident they're gonna produce. So again, they will be going on the wall for the next two months. And uh, and yeah. So the next couple baits are a couple Vision 110. So the first one here is this one is in Ghost Pearl. Good looking bait. Really good look at bait i really i tend to like the translucent baits with like blues and purples so a lot of my jerk baits are going to be these i don't throw a ton of jerk baits by the way uh a lot of the time i throw jerk baits it's early spring and late fall so i it's a dumb way of doing it but i spent a lot of money on jerk baits that i don't throw too often so I pretty much bought like collector's item and fish with them because I don't fish with them. I don't fish with them enough. It's just let's just keep going. I skip skip what I said. Hopefully I could do a better explaining one day. This one is in um, the bone traditional classic. And then this one is in the, there's a couple different perch colors. So this one is the GG Perch OB, Gangsta Perch on brother, on bros. So I'm going to take this one out just to compare it to this one. I'm pretty excited for this one. So I follow this, uh, one of my, one of my friend at the base shop and I saw this guy go up. And what does that look like to you guys? Does, doesn't that look like a mega bass lure? So I went ahead, sucked it up, and I bought it too. Along with all the other ones. Like I said, I don't throw too much jerk baits. So this time I spent a lot of money on these jerk baits so that I don't have to buy any more jerk bait. And at the same time, feel good that I have good jerk baits. There we go. 
this one is the revenge the jacko revenge 110 and the reason i'm taking this one out is because i want to do a comparison for you guys so right off the bat they both look good real good actually and guys they're pretty much the same size same size everything and everything the same size so it's a quick comparison just just in case you guys are wondering if you know this would be better than this price wise yes design wise this thing looks a lot better a lot a lot more a lot good looking way more good looking there we go can't speak it is kind of late right now so <sighs> finding the right words is a little bit difficult so that is that guys this is from me my uh, local tackle shop i love that taco shop you guys are in the area check out capitalist outdoors guys you guys won't regret the little stock there along with like thorn bowls and vados for baits so yeah guys put this guy back and uh i'll show you guys how i'm gonna store these in a couple sec now let's get into this box so i am in the mega bass page it's a mega bass buy sell trade blah 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 and i uh, mark i met i saw uh a guy named mark marzio um sorry if i bash your last name there but appreciate appreciate you know a lot of people are flipping mega bass especially the cool colors and i don't blame them but i personally won't pay like hundred dollars for a trick bait so read it really really reasonable and in this box let's just go into it okay guys so I'm back to keep it an Asian theme so this is my little custom knife that my dad made I restored it and so now to keep it the Asian theme I got the traditional the traditional knife for this box guys so again shout out to mark mark for reasonable price and super fast service guys it's saturday and i bought this thing on i believe thursday and, and it showed up to my door and like real quick uh so let's go ahead and open this up Shout out to my brother for shopping this thing. Ultra, ultra sharp. So, now that the box is open, man, check that thing out. Is that not JDM, man? It's always JDM when you get JDM newspaper. I'm pretty sure these came from the States. So, big shout out for making this feel like a JDM purchase. And guys, guys, guys. Let me dump all these. Dump all this. All right. So. All right. All right. I'm super, super excited. I'm going to save the best for last. I'm going to save these for last, guys. I'm going to give you guys a clue just so you guys stay here for, for a little longer. And I got some Vision 110 Juniors uh, Plus Ones. But. Before we get into those, spinner baits. You guys know I'm a big spinner bait, guys. For those of you that don't know, these are the Mega Bass SV3. Very, very good color. Uh, very, very good spinner baits here. I'm a big white guy. I throw a lot of white, straight white, silver uh, spinner baits. But it's been really hard to get these guys in pearl. Like this one, the Panther, or the uh, Panther, or Python. Pan pi Python. But this one is in three quarters, and it's, it's a little too heavy for the, what I like. So, and these are a little too light for the, what I like. But they are a little lighter, and I could fish these a little slower. So I got these, and this one is AU. 
not the right color, but I still like it. Hey, you. I thought it was supposed to be white chartreuse. But, because it is Mega Bass, you can never be disappointed. And this one is in Hasu, which is like a silver, silver shiner, silver shad, silver shad. So, these guys will be going into the tackle box. And, because I was at it and he had a couple of chatterbaits that I have never seen before. I'm gonna show you guys. So this one's in the is the um, ten feet under Iokin Chatterbait Chatter. This one is really cool. It has a blade. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has a blade. So that's that's pretty interesting. What am I doing? Let's go in and show you guys. Oh man, this is really cool. This is a really, really cool bait. All right. So, it has a little wire. Probably like 60 pound wire. With a little blade. That is, oh, my bad. With a little blade. That's pretty interesting. That's, that's going to be a bit. That just gave me an idea to make my chatterbaits in this way. So, Thanks for that. Thanks for uh, designing this bait because now I'm going to do the same thing, guys. Black and blue. The next one is the Jacko Break Shad or Break Blade. Really good looking bait. This one is in for those of you that could read. It's completely Japanese, so I won't be able to tell you guys that, but I will be able to show you guys the bait. So this is the brake shad or brake blade, and I'll just it's it's literally a clown color clown color jerk bait uh, by Mega Bass. Literally, they got the uh, chrome chrome gold head with the red head. And then pretty much just like your clown color on your Mega Bass. If you guys know which one I'm talking about. And it has two weed uh weed guard, weed wire, wire. Definitely go in the tackle box, guys. Really, really cool. Got the coffin, coffin blades. Quality, quality stuff. Don't go away yet, guys. I do have two more chatterbaits to sell you guys. This one is the the raid. But before we get that, I got two brake shad. This is the white chartreuse. Go ahead and show you guys that too. White chartreuse. If my camera focus, I'm sorry if you know my camera has not focused on these baits. I've been paying a little bit too more too much attention to the bait. Really cool, really cool. Coffin blade. Chrome, I think this time. Yep, chrome. Cool, cool, cool. Now, let's get into the raid. Another white chartreuse. Chartreuse back pearl. Uh, if you guys want to be exact. Oh, man. This thing is nice. I should have got more of these. I'm going to keep this package. I'm not going to lie. Any, anything JDM, it always come... In a really, really like cool, cool packaging, and that's a. I'm starting to like adapt to that. I'm starting to pick up on that. Like sometimes things are just made to catch fishermen, and packagings are definitely to to catch fishermen. Man, this thing is cool looking. Check that out. See the head with a little wee guard. That is not much on center, but that's fine. Really cool, really cool blade, bait, uh, blade bait. 14 grams. This one feels a little heavier. So, I have a feeling it's like, not sure, but why should I choose? Another chatterbait. So, overall, guys, 
four chatter baits, and I go ahead and give you guys an up close. Four chatter baits to add to my already enormous chatter bait collection. But of all four, this one catches my eye a lot more. So stay tuned for HMG Custom Tackle because I will be duplicating this. So, all right, guys, enough talking about chatter baits. Let's hop into the 110s junior so like i mentioned i have been searching for this color for like ever since it came out and these are the 110 junior plus ones i was having a little bit of trouble fishing the regular vision 110s because i was fishing like 10 plus uh, feet of water and I needed some like something that dives like down there so I found this one 110 juniors plus ones perfect size this one is in Ito Claire Laker badass jerk bait guys like I said I'm really into the translucent baits with flash especially um there's a lake that i found out that really 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 i do really good with chrome that's one of the reasons why i bought this perch mainly because of the chrome and honestly i i think that plays a big role into perch baits with chrome all right guys so i'm almost done with this video i got the northern secret so because it was hard to find like extremely hard because people were flipping them like crazy i went ahead and got two while you know i had the opportunity i literally could like just buy them retail i i pay like two two bucks extra and i was totally fine with that because you know as long as i'm not getting charged more than five bucks i'm cool we cool so I finally, finally found the really rare Vision 110 Junior in Northern Secret. All right, so I'm pretty stoked. I've never seen it up close. It's pretty much okay. So it has a it has a green the chartreuse inside. So when you look atop, it's green. Like literally, when you look up top, it's green. When you turn it, it's purple. So that's that's a really cool effect, and that's why Mega Bass charge so so much for their baits, man. Quality baits, quality bait, paint jobs, and that's why paint arts in general in the world cost so much it's because of you know the time and the art that goes into the paint. So literally thrown pieces of art to catch fish and totally i think it's totally worth it if you have the money especially with all the stimulus coming and you want to invest look for rare mega bass totally guys you will always get your money back guaranteed so uh might as well keep this one out of the box because i'm gonna show you guys my storage for like my DIY-ness inside me. So this is the Gamagatsu storage box. I don't remember what model and what it is, but it came with some some dividers inside of it. Like so. I could literally, you know, put it to where I want because of all these little slots. So I can make them big, small, or whatever. But what I did was, these are like 
foams where you get for your car, I believe. Cut this perfect shape out onto this box and so that I could stick the hooks of my jerk baits inside of it. So let me take this time and uh, get everything open into the box. All right, guys, so it took me like a couple of seconds. Everything is nice in a box, never gonna come out. As you guys can see, I'm shaking the box. And most of the time, this thing is well be face down just like that never going nowhere guys tackle storage to the max i really wanted the shimano's and daiwa box that are made specifically specifically for drug baits but this would do especially like this thing is like probably a good two and a half three inches of foam as you guys can see and the drug baits are pretty much right up to the lid meaning they're never gonna shake off so i still got room for like a couple more if i just arrange them a little better so yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video i definitely 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 i said definitely definitely def definitely enjoyed it finally got my hands on the secret bait the northern secret the ultra rare the ones that everybody are flipping super high and i'm i'm pretty proud of myself now this thing is gonna go on the wall and uh probably be resale just kidding hopefully you guys enjoyed the video guys and uh yeah guys until next time hope you guys are having a good one i am super excited the weather is warming up so expect to see a couple of fish catching uh coming up especially for crappies and maybe some carp fishing so yeah guys hope you guys enjoy the videos until next time guys like always set that hook